Hello, hello, and hello, everybody. Sorry if that sounded weird for a second. I uh, had my hand on my face for a second. Well, 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 right off the bat. Hello, lovely. So, um, even though I already started this, I guess I'll just, uh, say this quick. Uh, be sure to like and subs- and subs- uh, 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 uh. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed any of this content and once- I don't want to get over there! Go away! And be sure to check out my other stuff as well. I got a bunch of other videos on my channel. Anyways, let's keep running! Yay! <laughs> Remember who's here. Dang it. Okay, yeah, but this is worse. I can never do these in order. <laughs> One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Yeah, that is screwed up. There we go. Key. Wait, I can't go over there. What? Why did the music stop? I don't like this. Oh, okay, there are those small guns. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. And as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed to almost look like the missing children sometimes. Hi. Wait a minute, did I pick up the- I didn't pick up the key, I think. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, no, I did. <laughs> what am I saying? Hello. Quit looking at me like that. Shoot. There you are. And I need to see for this room. Okay, good. I'm okay. Good luck. whenever it comes to the weeping angels. The other weeping angel types of specimens. You get what I mean. Yeah, just for fun. Um, I don't know, leave a like if you guys have seen Doctor Who. Or at least some of Doctor Who. Ah. 
All right, we're safe. At least for now. Hello, Cat Dust. Give me something good. Specimen six. Type active. Total fatalities: one hundred and eighty-nine. Yep, I read that right, apparently. Method, physical punctures. A wooden life-size puppet found floating in a reservoir where a town had once been. Specimen is active, despite appearance, and has shown very eff and, bleh, and has proved very effective on subjects who disregard it or have vision impairments. Never disregard the puppets. They will kill you. Even if they aren't cursed, somehow they'll find a way. Wait, which one is this one? Ah, crap. Specimen 7. Type. Unknown. Total fatalities. 93. Method. Unknown. Specimen is constantly changing form and attributes depending on subject's personality, but most commonly resemble. Er, bleh, but most common form resembles a wall of moving ana anatomy symbols. Only effective on subjects with past traumas or a history of psychological issues. If it's only effective on, a, on us, then that means that main character's got some bad stuff going on. Ooh, hello! Specimen 8? Yes. Uh, specimen 8. Type. Active. Total fatalities. 149. Method. Absorption. A floating figure that appeared in a testing chamber a few years after it was filled with a believed to be some un- to just be unusually violent deer. Specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. Specimen 9. Type. Exterminated. Total fatalities. 362. Method. Unknown. A small skull shaped mass of clay that seemed to gain more form as subjects were taken, 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 taken. The specimen is deemed too hard to contain and was killed and dismantled by GL Labs. Don't worry, that dude doesn't have room. Well. Yeah, he doesn't have a room in the, in the, the sequence. At least that version of him. I'm trying not to spoil anything. Uh, I hate this one. Specimen 10. Type. Active. Total fatalities. 245. Method. Parasitic infections. A form-changing creature that is believed to be extraterrestrial, though it is not officially proven. Proved very effective on most subjects, but deemed too difficult to contain. The specimen broke out of its containment area due to frequent electrical malfunctions. Hello. Specimen 11. Type. Active. Total fatalities. 317. Method. Unknown. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate, corporate office once owned by a restaurant franchise. The specimen is extremely violent and now seems to leave the house at will. Or, and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with the specimen. But sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside the testing chamber days later. Proof not effective as victim souls do not remain after contact. Okay then. Can make us some water. My head is killing me and now my throat is too.
more nuts? I'm not sure. I think there was just one last node in that guy's sequence, but I might have missed it. This audio is a little creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what this guy looks like. Don't worry, he's not fast, so everything is gonna be fine. He's got a neat sprite. I so I think it's neat. A little startling, but like mostly loud. go a little bit further. Actually no, it goes by hundreds now, so probably not. There's the last note. I don't know how much longer I can go on. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna wait for the elevator to stop. 
I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either someone uh, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Okay, yeah, I already clicked that. So, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys have a good day, good week, a good month, and a good year. And also, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy any of this content and want to see more. And check out my other stuff as well. Uh... Sorry, I'm like really tired right now. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, wash your hands, be sure to stay inside, follow all quarantine procedures, and get vaccinated whenever it's your turn. Just don't get sick, please. Um, and I think that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!